Yes, you know, one thing they can do is do what I'm doing right now, stand in the shade, do not go into that direct sunlight. Now, it may be important to realize that elderly people who may be more susceptible to heat-related illnesses actually don't feel the heat as much. Now, doctors say, you know, a lot of times they'll say they're cold when others are like, oh, I'm just fine. So because of that, that may mean that they stay out in the hot weather longer than they should. Whether you're working, walking, or playing outside, this is a day when people feel the heat. I do not like hot weather. More than uncomfortable, it can also be downright dangerous. What is this weather like for you? Terrible. You can't really leave the house. You can't breathe, you know what I mean? Diane Cipriano and Beverly Wood both have the lung disease, COPD. They found some relief in the air conditioning at the Rose City Senior Center in Norwich. It's horrid. Very, very hard to breathe. Um, that's why I come to the center. Not only is it a heat wave with that humidity, but there's a high ozone layer. And that's really inflammatory to our lungs. Dr. William Horgan of Hartford HealthCare says those with lung disease and cardiac issues have a hard time in this type of weather. Even those in good health can get sick. So going to play tennis for two hours, like my mother did yesterday, and developed heat exhaustion, is something that you need to recognize and avoid. Dr. Horton says if you exercise, do it in the morning, limit time outside, wear light clothing, stay hydrated, water is best, and stay inside with air conditioning. Tips to try to avoid heat exhaustion, which can cause vomiting and muscle cramps, or the more serious heat stroke where you actually lose consciousness. Another danger with heat exhaustion is that Dr. Horgan says it causes you to not be as thirsty, so then you may not drink as much as you need to. Despite these warnings... Several hundred in the United States die from heat-related illnesses every single year. I have my, my air conditioning on 68, <laughs> and it's very comfortable. Certainly a smart lady there, and she is fortunate because she does have air conditioning at home. Now, if you don't, many communities are setting up cooling centers at places like local libraries during the hottest part of the day, so there could be some relief out there. We're live in Waterford. Tina Detell, News 